Good morning. Welcome to the Zen AF podcast with your hosts, Alex Scooby and Wayne Hanna. Alex could not um, do the intro this morning just for the simple fact that he was having technical difficulties because his mic fell like a flaccid penis. We are so <laughs> excited to be with you for episode 25. And you can find us on wow. all of the things, Spotify, Apple, some more Spotify. I think there's a billboard of us at Chase Bank. Yeah, sure. there should be now. Yeah, now. You know. What's up, man? Hey, man. So, yeah, go over to uh, zenafpod.com and smash those buttons. Just sign up for the newsletter and all that stuff and all that good stuff. Episode 25. Holy shit. I know. That's 25 weeks. That's We have been podcasting longer than any relationship I have ever been in, I think. <laughs> This is crazy. I mean, I can kind of see why, you know. Well, I, I can see why your other relationships didn't last because you it Our wasn't me. And they had so much changing to do. <laughs> they right. had so much self-improvement to obtain. Yeah, I don't and, understand. And they just couldn't. I, you know what? It can never be my fault. It's just repeatedly somebody else's fault. Completely different human beings. No DNA lockup or, or, or their DNA isn't the same at all, but it is always their fault. It is never Wayne's fault. I am perfect the way that I am. Well, you get along with my ex-wife really well. <laughs> yeah, no shit, eh? Have you ever heard you guys use that term down south called the common denominator? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. I, I was the common denominator for quite some time, my friend. Wow. Well, but you're all good now. You're all, you're, you're so much better. You've done the work. You are, uh, 100% on the forward path, forward 86%. thinking, open mind, open heart. What? 86%. You're 86%. Now, how did you get that percentage? Well, I'm really bad at math. Okay. So I just made it up like right now. Oh, you said that was right off the top of your head. Well, that's what people are doing with everything else in the world. They're just making shit up off the top of their heads. So I you said heads. Heads? It's not plural? <laughs> I, I think it is. I don't know. I'm not good Can at math. Can I get some heads? <laughs> <laughs> How many? <laughs> Episode 25. Yeah. I thought we would have been done after like nine. But we kept going. Yeah. Well, what else are we going to do? There's not much left to do. I mean, people are still, you know, locking down. It's funny. The guy who's playing my father in this play, he said he's been, you know, kind of just staying home more now. And and another thing that's interesting is that I'm seeing more people out in public wearing their masks than ever during the pandemic, ever, so, which is so weird to me. Like now, now they're going to start. Everyone's wearing, even when they're like in a park alone in a park, they're wearing a mask. It's like, what are you doing? Well, there's right. some doctor out of San Francisco and she's an infectious disease doctor. And she's been on the Canadian news a lot talking about what you need for an endemic and how, you know, like with this, this variant coming that, or that came and it's high transmissibility they're talking about how, like, you know, how you get immune to the virus or to the less lethal, whatever of the whatevers. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of the medical and science community, my brother, saying that this fucking thing is on its way out. And I am choosing to believe that. However, when you, <laughs> when you say that <laughs> to, um, somebody that's not, uh, that doesn't want to believe it yet, they, they fly off that. Oh, oh, is it not according to my sources? Not according to my sources. My sources says that there's 17 more variants and, and the last one's going to hit October 2027. I'm like, well, fucking get the six numbers from your source so we can win the lottery too. You fucking. Well, here's the other thing. I mean, like, where's their sources? Like the back of a fucking McDonald's wrapper. I mean, like, where are they getting their, their shit from? I mean, here's something interesting. Uh, we lost one of my favorite artists, uh, Meatloaf. Yeah. Uh, this past week, which was really upsetting. And you know what I, I come to find out, and I, I don't know if this is 100% true, but he was an anti-vaxxer and he died of COVID, which, you know, he was 74, I believe, 74. 
I think he was 74, but still it's like, you know, he was the anti-vaxxer. He was, you know, somewhere along the lines of this shit's not real and blah, blah, blah. And now he's dead. And you know, there's sadness to it, but it's also like, you know, I don't know, man. I mean, you know, again, weeding out the people that don't believe. And someone told me yesterday, I can't remember who it was, but someone said that the main cause for this pandemic now lies on the anti-vaxxers. The people who won't vaccinate are the ones who are causing this to, you know, go as far as it goes or, or you know, whatever, or how bad it's been. I'm a so, vaxxer. You know, I'm a vaxxer, but at the same yeah, time, I, I believe that that's opinion as well. Like, I, I think that nobody has a freaking clue. And, and, and this is just maybe me being naive, but I seriously, seriously think that, um, you, we needed both. We needed the vax, the unvaxed, and we just need to get through it and stop. But there's like, there's so much shit going on right now. And this is really where I want to end that conversation. If you're cool, cause we don't like to talk. We like to talk about COVID as much as we like to talk about our ex-wives. Yeah. And, yeah. and we never talk about this, even though when we say we never talk about this, we, we say it every episode because we do bring it up. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then when we say that we never talk about this, but we talk about this, we, we throw that last little bit in there, too, just to let you know that we do actually talk about this. But yeah. We're not talking so about when it. we say that we don't talk about something, we usually do talk about it. And then we say that we don't talk about it just to let you know that we normally don't talk about it. But we do. But then if you're curious about do we really talk about it, the answer is no. <laughs> People are just going, I don't know what to believe. Why are these guys that we should be the mainstream media? We we should be if you want any news about what's going on in the world, you come to yeah. Alex Scooby and Wayne Hanna, <laughs> aka Dr. Yep. Scooby, Dr. Hannah, not really doctors, but are we? Or though? news people. Who know? Is it? Are we? Do we know? I don't we know. We don't know, you know, until you know. You know, here's something funny. I, I think on our website, zenafpod.com, I should put up or we should put up some some kind of banner that says we are doctors, but not at all. Can we get arrested for that? Yeah, well, we can put no because <laughs> it's basically it, no. The short okay. answer is no. However, I'm also not a I'm not an FBI agent or a cop, so uh -huh. I I can't answer that question. But I can answer some medical questions for you. So I think it's better <laughs> that we say we're doctors and not cops if we don't have the answers to the cop questions. <laughs> Now, here's something I was thinking of when you were saying that if I went out and just got a badge and told people I was a detective, I can't get in trouble for that. If I oh go to people's God. homes and stuff. See, this is what I'm talking about, people. And this is what I say to you every single time that we do these podcasts. Wow, that took a long time. We can't rehearse this stuff. I have literally, Alex, been in this YouTube rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. This YouTube rabbit hole of watching <laughs> people impersonate cops get arrested on body cam. What? And it's fucking hilarious. A young guy that said he's a cop, but he's not really a cop, but he might be a cop soon, but he's not sure if he's going to be a cop. Spoiler alert, <laughs> he goes to jail. So my question is, after seeing that video, what's the motivation behind that for this person? Like, what's their motive? Are they trying to get something out of somebody? Are they trying to, like, spew authority for, and they don't have it, really? I mean, what's – I wonder what that is. Well, I think it's like the stolen valor thing, too. I think people – and I get that sometimes, like, a so your Veterans Day, our Remembrance Day, I don't wear a dress uniform anymore. I'll just wear um, – I'll wear, like, a suit jacket with my medals. And mm -hmm. that's just what vets do. And the people that give me dirty looks because I look too young to have um, these medals is just, mm -hmm. I mean, this was three years ago before I hit rock bottom with my forties, but um, yeah, people would be like, where, so where'd you get? And they start like quizzing you, but I think it's the same for cops. They want this, they want this, um, 
what what's it called? Like they want to be praised. They, I think it's a mental health. Oh, thing. they're looking for. Uh, they're looking for. Um, oh my god, brain dead. I smoked way too much weed last night. Uh, they're looking yeah. for validation. Yeah, but I don't even think it's validation, man. I think it's something uh-huh. completely different. But let's use that word for now. Let's stay there for okay. a bit. Let's hang out with All that right. for a moment. Let's be a peace. Breathe through your nose. You know what I mean. You can believe anything anybody tells you as long as you breathe through your nose after they say it. Watch this. Hey, Alex. Mm -hmm. I got drafted to the NFL. I'm going to be going to play for the Miami Dolphins next quarter. That's great, Wayne. See? Believe me. So hey, so I want to I want to talk about how my mind has been uh, going the last uh, I'd say week or maybe a little bit longer. Like so I f- have been feeling awkward silence. Breathe. I have been feeling overwhelmed AF yeah. as fuck, just with you know, you know, loving this podcast that we're doing so much that I'm constantly trying to figure out you know like marketing schemes and where's this blah 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 all this stuff. Then, you know, the play I'm doing, which is just a rabbit hole in and of itself. And then, you know, I had that movie that, that I'd been, a director had requested me to read for a movie that was this really great budget, was going to film in Hungary. Started working on it, and now it's gone. Got an email this morning that's uh, canceled. The movie has been shelved, okay? And then, you know, just just all of it and, like, when I'm going to go back to Austin and all stuff. So my brain has been so – and I've been meditating every day – which I think is a, you know, a savior, but it's still not saving me from my spinning mind, just spinning, man. Okay. So without hesitation, I'm going to say a few things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I said, yeah, at the end of it, but it makes me feel British. You know, I'm going to talk to you a bit. Yeah. You don't mind if I, if I talk to you about that. Yeah. Yeah, Well, make it quick, mate. I have a, a, a man pawn in. All right. I don't know what fact you said, but I think that um, it was not real words. <laughs> Anyways, um, first of all, I remember when I was down in Austin and mm-hmm. we were, I think it was my last night there. We were sitting around your fucking epic harvest table that you yourself built. Correct. Thank you. Out on the side of your house. Beautiful, by the way, people. Beautiful. Thank you. And uh, I had said to you, I said, well, you're getting ready to go back to LA in at the beginning of January. You're like, yeah. I said, then you're Mm -hmm. full bore with the play. You're like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I said, and you got to deal with all the shit that you had going on back in LA. Yeah. You didn't Mm -hmm. really want to go back to LA because you have this new love for Austin. Yep. Correct. And we, we put all of these things down on the plate. So you knew that this moment that you are, you're, you are in right now was going to Mm -hmm. happen. You. You have to be an overthought because you've got a shit ton to think about. You've got 90 pages of dialogue. Now you're trying to get off the book. So that's, that's, Mm -hmm. that's a challenge in itself, right? Mm -hmm. You're still trying to maintain house and home. You're still trying Mm -hmm. to book gigs and you're trying to Mm -hmm. make us grow. However, um, dude, if I can give you any advice because you are in a state where cannabis is legal, go buy a Two to one CBD to THC ratio, vape pen, and smoke that. The CBD. Well, that is that fine with my antidepressants I'm on and stuff. Oh fuck yeah, oh yeah. Uh, and see, it's just you're not uh, getting the you're not going to get the high that you usually get when you smoke a joint. Like I don't really yeah. get too high when I smoke joints. Like I, I'm pretty just chill. Like, I don't think you've mm-hmm. ever seen me blast it out of my mind. Well, that's, uh, I got to stop you because so uh, we're going to be transparent. You, when you use, when you use, <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. But honestly, man, introduce CBD in your life because I'm finding that that's what, because I'm, I'm anxious right now too. I think that, mm. that we're at this shift in the world that is fucking with a lot of brains. But you as an entertainer, you even talked about it the other day. And I said it out loud to a friend of mine. I said, Alex is all over this podcast stuff and the numbers and, and whatnot. You said the other day, you're, mm-hmm. you're in this business and that's what you mm-hmm. do. Like you, it's go, go, go. And you put everything and you obsess about it and it's mm-hmm. paying off. 
you know it is man i i i'm now now I know what I just said that is sounds, you know, oh, he's freaking, mm-hmm. I'm not, I feel grateful. I'm very grateful for where I am because I just am. And we've built something that I'm happy with that I enjoy doing and you enjoy it and all the stuffs, right? Even the play, it, I'm grateful that I was asked to be the lead in another play. It's like, I'm grateful for that. Like I'm grateful for all of it, but there is a time in your brain sometimes where it just kind of starts melting and you go, okay, one thing at a time one thing at a time, you know, like, so what I'd be doing is I'll separate like two hours in the morning for the podcast, just kind of see what I can figure out. The rest of the day is either at the theater doing rehearsal. And then at night I'll come back a little bit to the podcast or, you know, just hang out with my wife and talk, you know what I mean? So it's, it's fine. I mean, the podcast needs us every day, you know, and, and, and for the listeners to kind of have the experience that other podcasts that have a team, have it needs us mm-hmm. every day and like yeah. the work you've done on the website and the work that you have put into you know our social media and all of that mm-hmm. stuff like we're grinding right now um yes with the upgrades for the editing and editing stuff. all that stuff yeah but the grind is going to pay tenfold maybe not financially um mm-hmm. but it's 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 turning into something that's worth the time and effort that we're putting into just like the play that you're doing, just like, you know, trying to all of those things, you're allowed to be grateful, but still have anxiety. There's no rule book with anxiety. So you know what? Fucking take it in stride. When you want to have a drink, have a drink. When you want to smoke a joint, smoke a joint. When you want to like, just do make sure that at least part of your fucking day is just about you, man. That is it. You got to. And that's a good note for everybody. What you just said is a great, you know, it's just great for everyone to just have at least a little block of time, quote unquote, for yourself to just melt or, or, and just relax and breathe. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you, man. This, I'm with this, you. this shit that we do, like the obsessing, this is exactly like there's one thing that, that, Every human being, I think, does when they get to like an adult age um, that we do other than overthink. You know, when we go grocery mm-hmm. shopping and we buy like, you know, $250 worth of groceries and we have nine grocery bags. For, well, not these days with inflation and stuff. We have three bags now yeah. for 250 bucks. Yeah. But like you, yeah. we'd have like seven or eight grocery bags and you're like, fuck that. I'm not doing two trips. I'm taking every God yeah. bag right now. And I am going to make it to the house and I'm going to snap because there's nobody to open the fucking door for me. I'm like, somebody open the motherfucking door. And then you realize you're alone. <laughs> and you could have just taken more than one trip. Well, that's what we do. I think we do that with every fucking yeah. thing we do, man. Put it all in one. Try to do it all at once. Try to get it all done. And here and now, we want it right now. There's no time. We don't have patience. We want it now. We want it now. We want it now. And that's it. I mean, we've talked about this before where, you know, and I, it's like, you know, Blockbuster Video turned into uh, Redbox or whatever the fuck it was called. Then Redbox turned into Netflix. And then Netflix is everything here now. McDonald's. You know, we've, we've, ta- we've talked about that because I, re- I really do believe that this is where we are in the world. And... I don't know if it'll ever go back to patience and understanding and, you know, whatever. Like I went to the pharmacy the other day and I'm standing in line. It was a long line. Right. And I'm like, ah, God damn it. I'm like, but just, I'm going to breathe. I'm just going to be patient. I'm just going to relax. Meanwhile, the people in front of me weren't doing that. And the people behind me weren't, they were, everyone was freaking out. Like there's something in it. There's like an attitude shift that I've never seen before. So if you go out, you can see it, just go out. Here, especially here in the States, I don't, maybe in Canada, I don't, I don't know, but here in the States, people are anxious. They're angry. They're, uh, the patience has gone out the window. There's no more, uh, chivalry. Chivalry is dead, you know, for, for the time being. It's, mm-hmm. it's kind of wild, man. I think kinda we've wild. been on the outs. And like I said at the beginning of the shit show, we kind of all came together as a world for about three weeks. And now as we're coming out of this thing, we're like, let's go to war with Russia. Let's do this. Let's do this. And, yeah. and, and, and yeah, you know what though? Like I, I say this to people and I'll say it to you right now. If, um, the world can be however you view it, the world gets to be however you look at it. We choose what to care about. And yeah, there are things that we need to pay attention to. Yeah, there are things that we need to be cognizant of. However, 
<laughs> fucking view the world the way you want to view the world, man. And 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 like I am so naive to some of the stuff going on. I'm not I know what's going on, but I just refuse to give a shit. If somebody starts shit talking something or going off the rails, I walk away or I light them up. I don't have oh. the patience for negativity because when I'm in a negative place, my whole fucking world is in shambles. And I can't do that yeah. anymore. No, man, look, uh, you know, to what you're saying right now. So yesterday I had a five hour rehearsal, right? After about three hours, I started getting mind melted, right? Like I'm like literally just, and I have to be there for all the, so even though other actors are coming in and out of rehearsal, I have to be there for the whole thing. Cause I'm in every fucking scene, right? Which is great. And again, that's awesome. But I had a meltdown yesterday. I, we were talking about something. We were changing some dialogue and I went, Oh, and then we, then, we, so we changed some dialogue. We read 10 pages just to see how it sounded, but the energy was so low that I went, I stopped and I went, Hey guys, listen, if the energy in this fucking play isn't top, it sucks. And I'm, I'm standing now. I'm not the director. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not the writer and, and uh, the other actors on stage with me. But then I was like, Oh no, it sounds like I'm coming down on everyone. But what I was really doing was telling myself that out loud. You know what I mean? I mean, I was, yes, of course I was telling everyone in the theater, but I was more just telling me to keep the energy, keep the energy, keep the, anyway, I think it looked like I had a fucking meltdown. Cause I was just out of my mind, you know? But see, once again, man, you change the narrative around that. Like this is, this is what you do. This is your, this is your passion. This is something that, that it, this is, it's five hours a day and like you're rehearsing yeah. every day. So if you are yeah. going to put yourself through that and the other actors and, and Howie and all of those yeah. people are going to put themselves through that much work, it better yeah. be at the top all the time because yes, you know, and, 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 so, so I, I think when you say things to yourself, you hope everybody else hears you. You just don't want to single yourself out or single somebody else out in the room. But good for you, man. Speak up. Yeah. Avoid just no, yeah. everything we say it just because it's got a fucking angry connotation. Is it condensation? Is that the right? I don't fucking know. I'm Connota about. Yeah, something like that. Condensation. Condensation. No, if there's condensation behind your verbs... <laughs> You got to talk with your mouth closed because you're spitting on everybody, you know? <laughs> I fucking hate people that use, like, like legit wrong words, and then they walk. Like, like, it's, you know? I know I use some so wrong people, <laughs> people use re reoccurring. So this is a word that's driving me, driven me nuts forever when people say, well, it's a reoccurring thing. It's no, recurring. it's, it's recurring. It's not reoccurring. Re yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I've been hearing it my whole life. It's reoccurring. What is, what is that word? I don't even know what you just said. What the fuck did you just say to me? It's like, just like I've read like one peeves. paragraph. I've read like one paragraph in one book in my whole life. And I remember in that paragraph, it said taken aback. And now whenever somebody's like, <laughs> I'm just so taken back. I'm like, it's taken aback. Don't you read? <laughs> Well, that one paragraph graph in that book, it just changed your life. It man. changed my life, man. Made me a dick. You know what else I don't like? So in, in my world, in my professional firefighting world, um, when uh, they're on the radio, uh, they always say when they're giving like an update of what's going on, they'll be like, mm -hmm. so we're just uh, pulling the hose right or we're just pulling the hose at this time. And then we're just going to everything's that they finish with at this time. We what? know that. We know that is someone's this supposed to be logging the time. This isn't a recording. <laughs> <laughs> like this, is, this didn't happen an hour ago. We're here with you. We know what at you're this doing time. at this time. I fucking. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, you know what, guys? It's time for one word answer because no, I have something no, here. You got it. Now seven word answer. Seven word answer. Here we go. I need seven words from no, just one. Here we go. Here is the news article, ladies and gentlemen. Midget Sue's grocer cites belittling remarks. Tiny problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You always win. I know. Ah, did, fuck. Did I you tell always you? Always win. I know because I'm so, <laughs> I've always gotten first place when I'm the only person competing. Well, that's just like how they raise kids nowadays. Everyone gets a, a oh. trophy for participation. What do you mean you don't fail anybody anymore? Like I get don't it. Do it. You don't need don't do like it. a super education to make it in this world. However, we need yeah. failure, man. You need to fucking fail at shit. I'm it. You oh, fuck need, yeah. You need to fail at things. Sorry. Oh God, you're preaching to the choir. I think I failed at almost everything. <laughs> it's only failure if you don't try it again. <laughs> oh, man. Did you see What that? have you failed at? What have you failed at that you that really left like a mark on you to try to do to do it better? So I got, I, I fucking failed, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to, I learned from that. It's a learning experience and I'm going to go back to it. Parenting. Oh, it's a good answer, man. Parenting. It's a good answer. Um, yeah. because I wasn't in my son's life, you know? Yeah. And, and I think the way, like, I'm, I'm not, I, I think the way I am with my daughter and the time that I want with her, you know, as a single dad, it's important that, that, um, I do it. And it's not, I'm not making up for it. Like I'm not trying mm -hmm. to fucking make up for, um, not being there for my son who is now 18 years old. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make it hurt less if that makes any sense. And yeah. instead of sitting and dwelling about it, I might as well fucking do something about it. And fortunately for my child, she gets the benefits. Now I don't think I'm a great parent. Um, but I don't know what a great parent is, you know? So, but yeah. Parenting. Yeah. I mean, that's all perception, right? Yeah. Parenting. That's a great answer. I, yeah. I, you know, it's funny when my children were little, I, I didn't look at myself as a great parent or a horrible parent or whatever. I just did, you know, I'd make them breakfast. I'd get them up for school. I'd take them to school. I'd pick them up from school. I made sure they're, they're doing their homework and blah, 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 blah. Um, so I don't know if that's great parenting and I'd love them and I hugged them and I would tickle them and we'd wrestle and we'd have fun. We'd watch movies, we'd go to fucking, you know, water parks. And I, I don't, but I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's great parenting. I don't think it's horrible parenting. Like, you know, my father was a fucking cunt. So, and I know that, right? Mm. So I guess I was a good parent. <laughs> I, mean, I guess I still am. I don't, you know, I, I think oh, well. it's perspective, man. Um, I, yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. My daughter, my daughter, because she's getting older, she's almost 10 and she has a voice now. Um, she lights me up. You know, if I'm being, yeah. if I'm being a, a little bit of a douche nozzle, she lights me up. Mm -hmm. She's like, she'll tell me to chill the fuck out. And mm -hmm. I listen to her because she's, she, she knows what's up. But yeah, I don't know. Parenting's parenting. At the end of the day, I mean, we're only responsible until they're adults and then they get to do everything themselves, right? Let me ask you a question. Is this a new term that you've come up with that you, that you sound, that you love, uh, light, lighting up? Like, so you're like, I light them up and you said light them up three times and I'm in, in the course of like a half hour. And I'm wondering, is this something that you just heard? You love it because you do like it. I've been saying light them up for years. I've just brought it back out. On, uh, you know, I, I think I just, I carry words like that in my tracksuit pockets. So because I'm wearing my green <laughs> Adidas tracksuit, like I just, I pull out all these, these terms from the nineties. Oh, nice <laughs> That's a great sound bite, ladies and gentlemen, right there. He right keeps the, he keeps these there. terms in his tracksuit pocket. I keep my terms in my, <laughs> let me just pull out one of my terms. Oh, you radical thumb bitch. Hey, did you see that article <laughs> that I sh sent you last night about the, the teacher, the drama teacher that refused yes. to go into this? There was a teacher that refused to go into the school because of the COVID stuff. And the, I don't know, I didn't read the whole article, but um, mm -hmm. I read the part where high school drama teacher um, stays in car because she refuses to work. When I read high school drama teacher is highly dramatic. Like she is, that's, that's <laughs> like a super dramatic move, man. You know, people tend to uh, get real dramatic when they feel like they're being, that they want to make a point. 
you know, like they want to make. They're they're making a point. There you know, so is a convoy back. that is three hundred miles long, over four hundred kilometers long. I am not joking Where? right now. That is driving to the Canadian capital to protest. Um, I guess what? Protest against being mandated to get vac- vaccinated to cross Wait, the what? border. Wait, what? Hang on. Now there's twofold. I don't know anything about this shit, but let me explain this to you. There is a group of truckers. They started a GoFundMe because our government has now mandated after two years of no mandates for vaccines for truckers. If you want to cross the border, you have to be vaccinated. Now, the problem is we get all of our produce and shit from like Mexico and U.S. So Mm -hmm. our, our grocery stores are going empty. But these truckers now, they've formed a convoy and they've driven across Canada and it is real. And I think they'll be here as of Saturday. So it's um, two days ago, I guess, because we're this is Monday um, Mm -hmm. episode, but we're pre-recording. We're not live or doctors. Um, No, we're doctors. We can't be live. That's right. So... um, yeah, are they w- armed? Are they like? Are they? Are they no, armed? No, they're just going they... to make a point now. Now the best part is that um, they then found out. So this GoFundMe or Kickstarter mm-hmm. or GoFundMe page that they set up, like I really don't know a lot of the details, and that's what makes it the most fun is news with Wayne because I just give you pieces that I hear. They've made <laughs> over five million dollars. What? They've made over $5 million. Now, the best, best news is then they found out that the guy behind it is this huge right-wing, um, white supremacist, racist, oh, homophobic fuck. guy. So now one of the people, oh. one of the government officials' brothers um, gave them $13,000, an Indian guy, and now he wants his money back. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, they did their research. What is with these fucking right wing, supr- like white supremacist, fucking hate hate filled? What is the fucking point? Listen, what is the point? Oh I, my god! If you if you're against mandates, which I am too, like I don't like mandates. No, I don't like mandates, and I also didn't like when my mom and dad told me I had to be home at eleven. I didn't like that, but I had to go with it until <laughs> it was done, and then I could move on. And I'm not pro or anti or anything. I'm just like, shut the fuck up and go about your business. That's my stance on this. So if you don't like the mask mandate, don't wear a mask. But don't make a show about it. I don't always wear a mask. I'll go into a place, and if somebody says, do you have a mask? Nope. Okay, carry on. If I go into a mm-hmm. place and I'm wearing my mask under my nose, somebody will say, put it up over your over your nose. I whine. I bitch. I complain. I get all cranky for the day. That's. But I do it for me. I don't do it in front of other people. Just go about your motherfucking business. Yeah. I mean, look, I, you know, I out here... Yeah, when I go into it, like a grocery store, yeah, wear my mask and when I, you know, whatever. But it's just, you know, again, it's like I'm more concerned. I mean, there's a lot to be concerned with in this world if you really take a look, <laughs> if you really take a look and listen to what people, the people of the world are saying. But I have a huge fucking problem with people of a certain color judging every other color on the fucking planet of skin i have a fucking problem if you are a white fucking bible beating scumbag who fucking goes out and tries to tries to like you know fucking rip on people or 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 uh threat threaten people because their skin color or who they choose to love like a gay man a, you know a gay woman whatever it is like Fuck you. It's none of your fucking business. And go eat a fucking bag of jelly filled fucking cocks, you cunt. Tomorrow night on 43 Minutes with Alex Scooby, Alex talks about <laughs> the pressures he found in dating in the early 80s. <laughs> I could not agree more. I could not agree I mean, more. I on. could not agree more. Listen, I come am, on. for all of you peeps out there, this is my ethnicity. If it matters, um, mm-hmm. I am just shy of 50% West African and British. So I am half black. Mm-hmm. Now, 
I was just giving the people that don't want to be here a chance to leave now that they found out that I just don't tan really well. <laughs> just fucking love people, man. It, it's just shocking. It's shocking to me how how a person can treat another person uh, based on who they love or the color of their skin or, you know, whatever. It's like, look, if someone comes up to me and starts talking to me about, I don't know, voodoo or witchcraft, okay, that's great. Hey, look, I'll listen. Maybe I'll get bored and go, oh, it's great. I don't really feel like listening to it, whatever. I'm not going to sit there and call this person an idiot and a fucking moron and you're disgusting and get the fuck off my property and all this stuff just because they're into voodoo or witchcraft. I don't care. It's, it's the, the same thing way. with Christianity. Well, that's different. Now, okay, so now that's different. Jehovah Witnesses, whole different story. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, hey, look, stay off my fucking property. But I won't judge you. I'll just tell you to get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck In a nice out way. of here. <laughs> Alex and I almost. Would you like to hear about the Lord? <laughs> Would you like to hear about the size of my cock? You know what it's I mean? It's a baby arm. The, um. <laughs> Alex and I got into an argument the other day, ish. Not really. It wasn't really an argument. But what was it about? I don't even remember. It was a boot. Um, mm. I think it was a boot. A boot. Tech, it had something to do with technology, because that's the only thing we 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 get. And we're not even mad at each other. We're mad at the technology. No. Here we go. I remember. I remember what it was. It was the duplicate. They took an old podcast of mine that hasn't been go going in like six years and they stuck our logo somehow got entwined with my old podcast. And Wayne saw that. I didn't even know it existed. Wayne saw it. And I think you thought for a second that I attached my, our logo to an old podcast I had. No, I don't know what the I hell it was. Think that at I don't all. even know what it was. <laughs> I didn't think, but that it was at weird. All. Well, you blew. Well, it's because you didn't give me an opportunity. Like I, I got on the phone. You know, we're gonna unpack this. We're gonna unpack. Yeah, this. do it. So Let's we got it. on the phone and immediately because we don't vi we don't phone chat. We video chat because we need to lock eyes. That's just what we do, and that's what it'll. That's how it'll always be. It's all I about locking that. eyes, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about locking eyes. Yeah. Cue a song. The music. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we get on this video and immediately without hesitation, he's like, what the fuck is going on? How the fuck, how the, how the fuck did that happen? And he just goes <laughs> off. He doesn't give you an opportunity. So I'm like, listen, I'm trying to explain that. He's like, what the fuck is that all about? Like, who the fuck did that? Was it the fucking pirates of the Caribbean? Like, what the fuck? And he's going off blaming everybody. I'm like, just shut the fuck up and let me speak. Don't you fucking talk to me like that. Don't you fucking talk to me like that. And then within three minutes, it's like, I can't stay mad at you. I can't stay mad at you. But no, the, the podcast is going really well. I think we're doing good. It's good. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is stress free. There is everything is smooth as butter, man. <laughs> smooth as butter. <laughs> so here's something interesting. So I told you that my voice agents of 11 years, uh, basically fired me. They let me go. And this happened like what, two months ago, something like that. So I, knowing that I should have a really good voice agent because I am worth it, uh, I got online last night and I looked at, not last night, the night before, and looked at all of the top VO agents in LA and New York. And because I'm on IMDb Pro, you can get contact emails for most of these big agencies, right? And, and specific people working the voice department. So I picked about five, came up with a nice, you know, uh, hello message, attached my voice reel and my IMDb link and all that bullshit. And, uh, Good news, haven't heard from anyone yet. No news is good news, right? No news is good news. No news they haven't told me to go news. fuck myself, so that's good. You know? Yeah. No. Oh, they did tell you to go fuck yourself? No, not yet. Oh, yeah. That's when it gets really good. When they come back and tell you to go fuck yourself, <laughs> that's when you know you've made it. That's when you know you have made it. I, um... <laughs> yeah. I... I don't have an agent. Well, you said you had a uh, you had a manager personish, right? Didn't Yeah, no, no. she's on a, a a hiatus, a sabbatical. Got it. Okay. Dealing with some yeah. stuff. Um I don't really need it right now. I I I I don't I mean, I do this and um 
the only yeah. person I need to negotiate this with is 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 you. Yeah. And then Look, I do we're, TikTok. Uh, we're 50-50. Yeah, and I do TikTok. You still doing the TikTok? Oh, I fucking love the TikTok. I don't know what happened, man. My brain crashed or something. I can't fucking do it, people. I don't know why. I don't like it any something happened to my brain about it, and I don't it, know why. It's it you don't need to figure it out. It's a social media app. Yeah, that's so much to figure out. Though, However, right? when, <laughs> when I when I was on when I went on um, breakfast television Toronto a couple weeks ago, yeah, I looked at my analytical things like the number uh-huh. of things on Instagram. Do you know how many followers I gained on that day? Oh, probably on a shit Instagram eight hundred and forty one new followers from. From, from, oh yeah! Oh hell yeah! That. Of course. that was that. That felt good. Oh, it felt fuck good, yeah, dude. It's awesome. Well, we get our highs from that shit. We get our highs now in life. Not all of them, but a lot of them from social media. Yeah. Those are our highs. It's weird, you man. Know? It's weird. I might be a fitness. I might be a fitness influencer next. Awkward silence. It's not awkward. It's well, it's awkward goal. for me. Why is it awkward when you, for you? say because these I things? Have goals? Because I have well, goals. Well, but no. Here's why it's awkward for me is because when you say you're going to be a fitness influencer next, like you're going to pick which one you want to be, why would you pick that one? Because I feel like so. I have been just in my spare time with my new computer. <laughs> Listen. <dog. laughs> I can't even. To me. Okay. I have, uh, I have oh, been fuck. photoshopping my head on, um, <laughs> on fit bodies. <laughs> and I look good. That's awesome. I look. That's really so good. good. Yeah, I look really good. Yeah, like if I was still on online dating sites, I'd probably.